All Christians like me are taught from a very early age that Jesus spent his entire life in the Middle East and that he was crucified and died in Jerusalem. But here in Kashmir, there is a totally different story, one that claims that Jesus did not die on the cross but escaped to India, where he continued his teaching, got married, had a son and lived to a ripe old age, and even that he was buried here. I have come to meet a man who has spent the last 40 years investigating this ancient tradition. Uh, when you study the Gospels and you come to the information where it is said that uh, Jesus was lost to his parents at the age of 12, and he came back at the age of 28 or 30 mm. to Jerusalem, and then he, his ministry was for two years, and after that there was crucifixion. So there is, the first thing is that there is a gap mm. of so many years in the life of Jesus. The second point is that when he was crucified, his legs were not broken, and he was brought down from the cross and put a specially made uh, um, sacrifice. Mm. And then next day they say, he's no more there. He's lost to them. So there are two incidents. He's lost as a young man, and he's lost to the people uh, after crucifixion. So I began thinking on it, that he is lost twice and we have to find him. Professor Fida Husnain is a Sufi, part of a mystic tradition within Islam that has a particular reverence for Jesus. Over the last 40 years, he has collected copies of many ancient Indian and Tibetan documents that he claims prove Jesus came to India. This is the Tibetan document which is translated from the Chinese. He tells about Jesus Mm, spreading his message among the lost sheep. His name is the glass mirror. He says, Yusu the teacher and founder of the religion who was born miraculously proclaimed himself as the savior of the world. Now here is a document, Bhuvesha Mahaparan. This is the most important document. It, it says that Jesus comes to Kashmir. He meets the king Shalivahana about uh, 78 AD, and uh, he tells him that his name is Ishuru Putram and Kanya Garbam, born of a virgin and son of God. And, and when was this document discovered? It's an ancient manuscript, and its date is 117. 117? Yes. So this is literally a, a second century document yes. which says that Jesus was yes. in Kashmir. Yes. Yes. That's, that's very early. That this is early. He means the king of Kashmir. This is the most important document. Can you tell me what Jesus did when he was here? What, what, what happened? You see, the, the first information what we get, mm. that he means the king. He meets the king. And he explains to him how he fled away from the land of Malichas and how he suffered there and how he came to this place. And he stays here. When he stays here, here Persian sources and Arabic sources say that here he changed his name from Jesus to Yuzu. In Kashmir he adopted this name, Yuzu. And he continued here till his death and he was buried here. Did, did, he, did he get married when he was here? Did he have children? What, what, what did he get? Yes, yes. You see, the, according to, to, our, to the true sources which I got, that uh, Yuzu married Marjan, and he had a child named Juha Kim. So when Christians, and I as a Christian, have been taught to believe that Jesus is crucified, he dies on the cross, and then he's resurrected. So what would you say to Christians who say, this is the tradition of Jesus? You see, I, I, will, I will tell them that Paul, being a Roman, he invented some, some dogma, 
and people, the Roman emperors, they propagated that dogma, and that dogma influenced Europe, and they think that that dogma is correct. One of Professor Husnain's documents even claims that Jesus is buried in Kashmir. So tell me about this one. Is tariq kabir by Mahideen, it tells about the story of prophets and saints. It says that one Hebrew prophet is buried there, and he was a prince who came to Kashmir thousands of years back, and he was so pious, and he became a prophet. Now there is the decree of this shrine, what we have shrine here. Now the Chief Justice of Kashmir, he gives a decree. He says that this is a shrine called Yuzas of Pagamar al-Islam. So this suggests that the tomb is the tomb of Jesus. This is where Jesus is buried. Yes, this uh, legal document says he is he's the prophet. Yuzas of is his name. According to Professor Husnain, Jesus is actually buried in a small shrine in the center of Srinagar. It is located in a very religiously sensitive part of the city. Professor Husnain is no longer able to visit the tomb because his beliefs about Jesus contradict mainstream Islamic teaching. And he has received several death threats. Could you tell me who it is who's buried here? Because I've been told that it may be Jesus. ये तो यहाँ एक मुसलमानों की एक पैगरुम पैगंबरों में से एक पैगंबर है। This is one of the many Muslim prophets, but Jesus is not buried here, because it is written in our holy book, the Muslim Quran, that Jesus has been taken up to heaven, to Allah. लेकिन कादियानी जो है मेरजाई, वो तो गलत रंग में इसका जवाब दे रहे हैं। So those people who say it is Jesus are giving incorrect information. by saying that he's here. No Muslim in the entire world would say that Jesus is buried here. Many Western scholars also dispute Professor Husnain's claim that this is the tomb of Jesus, and in particular, the dating of his documents. Why was it, do you think, that Jesus came here to Kashmir? Why Kashmir? The, my, my point is, uh, general impression in the West is that Jesus belongs to the West. They think um, he was a Westerner, maybe white man. But the but the fact is that Jesus belonged to the East. He was not born in the West. He was born in the East. He belongs to us. We have information about him in Persian, in Urdu, in Kashmiri, in Chinese, in Sanskrit, in Arabic language, in Tibetan also, in many languages. We have a lot of information about him in our books or manuscripts and something. So naturally we have to serve Jesus in the East. Here in Kashmir, we have uncovered an incredible story about the life of Jesus. one that not only fills in the missing years, but also roots him, not just in the Middle East, but also here in India. It's a story which at first glance sounds unbelievable. Jesus in Kashmir, but it's told in so much detail, and it has so many documents to support it, some going back to the second century, that it can't be dismissed out of hand. But above all, it tells us something that we in Western Christianity often forget. that the real Jesus is a man of the East and that he belongs as much to Asia as he does to Europe.